Today in Nigeria's history, November 10. November 10, 2008, due to the malfunction of the Solar Array Deployment Assembly, SADA, Nightcom Sat 1, a geostationary satellite launched into orbit in 2007 is deorbited. It was replaced by Nightcom Sat 1R in 2011. 1880, the Lagos Times and Gold Coast Colony Advertiser, a newspaper, is established by Mr. Richard Bill Blaze and edited by Mr. Andrew Thomas and Mr. Modula Agbebi. It was the third newspaper to be established in Nigeria. It went out of circulation in 1883. 2013, the Spanish police bust a gang of 25 Nigerians engaged in sex trafficking, online scams, and money laundering. Five female victims were rescued during the bust. The police also seized 94 vans containing luxury items worth $6.7 million heading for Nigeria. 1993, the interim national government headed by Mr. Enesuneko is declared illegal by Lagos State High Court and the judge also ordered that the duly elected candidate be sworn in. The interim national government had been installed after military president Ibrahim Badamoti Babangida stepped aside following the annulment of the June 12, 1993 election. 2006, an OAS-5 NBHU helicopter crashes in Wari Delta State, killing two. The helicopter which departed Lagos for Portacot was conveying the managing director and chief executive officer of the company and other staff for a meeting when the crash occurred. 1969, Justice Modupe Omo Ebo Ni Akinbeni becomes the first female high court judge in Nigeria, having been called to bar in 1953. 1992, Alaja Simbiat Abiola Ni Shoaga, wife of businessman, politician, philanthropist, and presumed winner of the June 12, 1993 election, MKO Abiola, dies in London. A road in Lagos, Simbiat Abiola Road, is named after her. 1995, Kenule Sarowiwa or Ken Sarowiwa an environmental activist and eight others dubbed the Ogoni Nine are hanged by the Abata led military government. They had been sentenced by the Ibrahim Outer Military Tribunal for the murder of four Ogoni elders. The execution came even as there was international outcry against the death sentence. Consequent upon their death, the European Union and the United States placed economic embargo on Nigeria while the Commonwealth of Nations suspended Nigeria immediately. Today, Nigeria's history brought to you by Ojora Olabisi.